Hey everyone, Blue Shadow RP here, recording the last of my Japan vlogging videos for 2017. I know it was only three videos, but it was pretty much just all I could record. So yeah, but it's better than nothing, right? So this first part of the video is me going on the train and being inside the train and going to Shibuya Station and uh... I was kind of surprised though because there were very few people left um, on the train going to Shibuya because all the people that were left, all of the people that were left were obviously going to go to Shibuya because everybody else got off um, before. So uh, yeah, so I'm taking the yellow Ginza line to Shibuya Station, which is all the way um, towards the end, and then. Um, the train just goes back the opposite direction and goes all the other way and pretty much they just cycle through that pattern throughout the day so uh, yeah but what I really liked here um, was that soon we're gonna be the trains going to be outside and then I'll be able to get off um, and if you haven't noticed yet, this is um, post commentary. So, yeah, because I didn't talk, I didn't talk at all during these videos. So, yeah, but um, soon enough, the train is gonna be outside. There we go, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. And there we are. We're outside now. See, there we are. And then, um, the door should open. Yeah, even they have the sign up there, the screen, to tell you, uh, which, uh, which doors on which side is gonna open. So, that side. And, yeah. Alright, so next, um, I'm at this mega shop. I don't know, it's called Mega Something. It's in Shibuya. And, uh, it pretty much just comes off as a grocery store to me, so... As you can see, I already have some uh, raspberry Kit Kat, some strawberry Pocky, and I got some Splatoon candy or something. And since it's Splatoon, I thought I might as well just pick it up, so there you go. And as you can see, I'm in the snack section. They have some Doritos, some Cheetos. I actually did try the Cheetos, though. Um, they're kind of a bit different, but they're not that bad compared to the ones in the States. Um... <clears throat> But, um, now I'm in the drink section because it's kind of hot out when I went to Shibuya and Akihabara, so, um, I had to obviously get something to drink, but, um, let's see, oh yeah, those ones, those green, um, those light green bottle caps with the, those bottles, um, those are actually water, I believe, but I didn't pick those up, I actually picked up the one that said water and it had the blue cap on it, so... Except that one was actually grapefruit water, and I didn't read it, so, yeah, but I still drink it anyways. But my main um, purpose was to go there for water, but instead I got grapefruit water, but oh well. So now I'm in this building, which has multiple floors as well, um, this shop. And I'm in the DVD section and TV section, I guess, um, for movies, pretty much. So, various movies around here. some other kind of kids movies and stuff um we'll see more movies uh through uh well later on in this video actually but um yeah so and then as you can see i'm on the fifth floor and the sixth floor has video games so we're gonna be going up there next um but yeah just another brief look around here and might as well look at the giant TV screens because why not? Yeah, there's a 4K one right there. And we'll look at the cameras because why not? I could always use a replacement camera myself, but I can never really come down to making a proper decision on a good one that will actually work for me, but I know one day I will. 
All right, so now we're finally on the video game uh, floor, and uh, we got some stuff going on here as well as uh, Mega Man, um, because I think Capcom is gonna release, or I'm not sure who's who's releasing it actually, but they're gonna have um, a second uh, Mega Man Anniversary collection, kind of like it's gonna have Mega Man Seven, Eight, Nine, and Ten, kind of like in a bundle. So um, yeah, that's good, I guess, but. They should really be making new Mega Man games, because I, I still like, I still love Mega Man. Um, and yeah, as you saw there, we saw some Amiibos, so yeah. And then we see ARMS here, which I picked up in the last video, actually, so... Which was Akihabara. And looking around here, we see some toys, like water guns and stuff. And... Come around here, we have Legos! and minifigures and series 17 and 348 yen per pack and there's a random character each inside so yeah or a random character inside each pack and then more capsule station machines we'll be seeing more of those um, in this video soon enough and some other game machines or whatever and I guess we have some posters to try to advertise some other products but yeah this was a fun f uh, floor to look through though because there's so much cool stuff to look at I think these are games right here I believe okay and um through I think I'm in the game section yeah 2ds here blue pink lavender clear black and red and Nintendo switch games and I think what it's coming up yep there we go Splatoon 2 gameplay which uh, yes I am excited for Splatoon 2 I already did my video on the Splatfest already the first one uh, cake versus ice cream and now I'm in this building, which which actually has two sides to it, um, building A and building B, and I'm on the building A side. So, yeah. But the stairs kind of label or have the floors on there for you to, to look at, so to kind of guide you. And I'm just making my way outside here. Get a nice view of Shibuya a little bit. And Shibuya 109 right there. And then get a view from another angle. Now this is actually near the... Uh, I want to say Shibuya Crossing, but I'm not 100% sure because... Um, it just looks like any other intersection to me. But, um... Yeah, so... Just... I'm just... Uh, taking a break here for a little bit because yeah it's a lot of walking but get my sip of water and all that stuff um, and now I'm in this Disney shop which has cars and Toy Story uh, toys and products and stuff like that towels shirts a really nice store by the way and we also have the back over there, which uh, kind of looks like um, Andy's room. And we also have some screens right there, as you saw. Yeah, really nice. Really nice. And uh, this store is actually three floors, I want to say. Um, the third floor, though, or second floor, either one kind of caught me off guard because I wasn't sure if there was uh, products on either one of them so I still had to look anyways and sure enough there was so I don't know but um another look at the view here as you know the buildings are pretty tall and it's a wonder to look at but our next stop is going to be that yellow building that you may have seen. 
and uh, here we are in Tower Records. I don't know if you saw it there, but floor information, and you have an ATM right next to there, and a screen advertising, um, I want to say a film of some sort, an anime film of some sort. I forgot the name, but um, it looked familiar to me, so I decided to go check it out and record it. And now we have Splatoon uh, CD discs. Um, Splatoon. They kind of sound the same. And we also have uh, Callie and Marie's uh, live concert right there. I hope they do that again for Splatoon 2, and, you know, I would definitely catch it. And we have some uh, Legend of Zelda discs right there. And some other ones that I missed. But, yeah, um, as you can see, there's the Katakana for anime, so we're going to be checking out anime discs and soundtracks and CDs and all that stuff. Because, why not? So, more Love Live stuff here, uh, CDs and stuff. I was actually uh, debating whether if I should get a Love Live um, DVD or CD to listen to because um, it would be nice to listen to some soundtracks of something uh, in my car when I'm going to drive to school soon, but um, I didn't, unfortunately. But I did end up getting something else, and you'll see what that is soon enough. Um, so, of course, I spotted Sword Art Online, um, well, that I'm holding is the second season, but, um, yeah, I tried to get a focus on the soundtracks names right there, but I don't know if I passed or not, but here we have Sword Art Online Ordinal Scale, the movie back in March, I want to say, that uh, showed up in theaters uh, in the States, and I was able to watch it, and I really enjoyed it. So, um, I'm thinking about taking that with me. But, as you can see, I still kind of linger around the section trying to decide, should I take something else? And, to tell you the truth, I really don't. That's all I take with me, is that sort of online ordinal scale uh, CD, but, um, you know, I guess, yeah, well, the reason why I didn't want to pick up anything extra is because I didn't really see anything else that interested me, and, and um, Love Live I haven't really seen yet, so I don't know what the songs are going to be, and uh, I don't know if the price is also going to live up to that. But um, yeah, so I saw some You're on Ice magazines or books or whatever that kind of caught my attention, so I decided to take a quick look at those. And right there too. So back to the uh, anime uh, CD section here. Yeah, so unfortunately I don't go home with a Love Life uh, CD, but I might in the future after I see the anime and know more about it because I really don't know that much about it yet. But Star Online I do, so and you know. I decided to pick out another, or take a look at another, uh, disc there. That's season one, but, yeah. One of the really good things that I liked about, uh, Sora Online was the soundtrack. The, the soundtrack was just beautiful, like, all throughout, so. Especially in Ordinal Scale, too, so. But, um, I'm not sure how hard a Ordinal Scale, uh, CD would be hard to get in the States, unless you were you were to go online but since I'm here in Japan I might as well take the opportunity opportunity and buy it here and I'm sorry that I keep trying to pronounce words again because I'm trying to make sure I say it correctly and not like you know what I mean but um yeah so I'm here in this Disney section as you saw there and some Kung Fu Panda right there yeah can't wait for uh, Incredibles 2 and Toy Story 4 though, because I'll be really excited for those. Okay, so I'm here in this manga uh, bookstore in the basement. Uh, I'm still a big Mega Man fan, so I had to look at the Mega Man EXE uh, manga right there, and book 2 was Proto Man and Chad. And book 3 is actually in a different spot. Uh, we'll get to it soon enough though. So looking around more in this uh, manga store. Well actually, 
it, it is a store, but I don't think it has like all manga, but this particular floor that I'm on now is for manga, which is the basement floor. And I think uh, there's this is bas basement one. Basement two has uh, video game stuff, so I went there after this. And some Umaru-chan manga there. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm saying the whole name of the anime, but um, that's as far as I can remember. Um, but yeah, um, if you watched my Akihabara video, you would know that I didn't buy any manga be in Japan because um, I wouldn't be able to read it, and that still applies here too. But it's still amazing though to just walk and look throughout, through all these piles of manga. And we have Era Manga Sensei uh, manga too, because how could I miss out on it? And yes, I finally got to watch the anime, all of it, and I'm proud to say that I really enjoyed it. Um, and now I'm just, now I'm just hitting myself because I could have bought some Merc in Japan, but I couldn't, or I didn't. And now I have to possibly wait until my next anime convention so I can possibly try to hunt some down and buy it, you know, yeah, but it is what it is. And now into the Konosuba uh, manga right there. I also watched Konosuba too. And Splatoon manga right there. It had like a Wii U cover and now uh, Mega Man EXE. Book 3 there with Roll and Mail right there. So I'm seeing a lot of cool stuff that I like. Also though, in the background, um, there was a screen like replaying itself and stuff. Um, because apparently Attack on Titan Season 3 was announced, and I have not even watched Attack on Titan before, but I couldn't help but, you know, mention it because it was playing in the background, and I heard about it on Twitter, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really hype for the people that are fans of the anime, but I haven't watched it before, so I don't know anything, but more ARMS and Splatoon stuff, as you saw there, and just looking through the video game sections here. Um, I think we saw Dark Souls there. Various PS4 games, some that are foreign to me that I've never seen before in the States, but um, cool nonetheless. Xbox One there. Some retro games. And uh, Love Live uh, boarded up character right there. Some more games. Yeah. I mean, for me, i rather, I don't know. It just seems so fun to just walk around and just look at games. Like, somehow it seems more fun than actually buying it, but it just, it's just so fun to just walk around, hang out in a store, and just check out all the cool stuff. Um, here we have some books or magazines, I don't know, maybe a combination of both. And I see this arms one, which grabs my attention, so... Yeah. And I, I do apologize, though, if the camera is, like, down most of the time. I just don't want to try to get anybody on camera that doesn't want to be on camera, so... Yeah, and on top of that, I'm also nervous about vlogging, too, but... I do want to keep these for the memories, also, to entertain you guys, so... That's why I'm doing this. And more Love Live DVDs, or not DVDs, CDs. Um, yeah. Just really cool stuff, really cool stuff. I could, I could come here every day. Honestly, I could. Alright, now we get to the portion of the video which it is gonna be Claw Machine gameplay. Um, I put a thousand yen as you saw, and you can you kind of have options for how you want to convert it. Um, you can do two 500 yen coins, one one 500 yen coin, and five 100 yen coins, or just 10 100 yen coins. Um, so yeah, you can try to be strategic with it. Um, 
as you saw there, I had to look at Sora Online stuff, but I don't know how you win it, to be honest, so I just made a pass on it. And I go over to this Love Live pillow, which is kind of grabbing my attention, so I, do, I decide to make an effort to uh, take it out of the machine and take it home with me. So, um, yeah, um, these machines, though, they're kind of different from the States, I want to say, but um, at the same time, though, um, not really, but um, pretty much what they want you to do is to work out your prize, because what they do is if you win a prize, um, if an employee sees you, well, an employee saw me when I actually won a couple of stuff, but um, they bring you a bag. Well, in this arcade, they actually brought you a bag, and the other arcade that we're going to go to in a little bit, um, they just have bags like out in the open that you can grab. But um, my, I didn't really have a strategy in the beginning for how to grab this Love Life pillow, but um, I did come up with a strategy later on. Um, so, yeah, I kind of have some fails right there. Okay, so I think this is the one where I start to figure it out. I think I can't really um, put my finger on it just yet. Um, okay, there we go. Okay, so my strategy here is to try to start at the back, uh, towards your face, to try to grab the pillow, and try to lift it up, and as you can see there, it kind of, uh, went off to the left there. Um, it kind of leaned toward the left there, yeah. It looks like it's about to fall towards the left there. So, what I kept on doing was trying to, um, guide the claw to go up to the top, or towards her face right there, and then... Yeah, that's, I just kept on doing that until um, I felt that it couldn't be moved anymore, and then I knew at that point that I had to go, I had to try to grab the pillow from a different um, spot and see if um, it would come out. Um, and as you can see, you can also use your Passmo card or cards they usually use for the train to, you can also use them to play the claw machine as well. And I kind of ran out of money, so I had to go back and get more. Um, but later on, yeah, unfortunately though, I didn't, I wasn't able to record myself uh, winning this stuff, actually getting getting it out. But as you can see here, I did win the Love Live pillow, and an employee actually brought me a bag, which was really nice. And just showing it to you guys there, there it is. And that's one pillow that I get to take home with me, but it's not over yet. So, the other arcade that was nearby was the Sega Arcade, and here we have some capsule station machines. And, yeah, and... Claw machines galore, because we have a lot more of them here. And there's the bags that I was talking about that are out in the open. And, um... Yeah. So, with this video, I'm gonna try to not get rid of the uh, camera audio that was in this. I'm gonna try to make it audioable as well, or so you guys can hear it um, with my voiceover because um, the background noises that I recorded as well were kind of interesting because all I could hear was just electronic stuff, just making sounds and stuff, so I rather enjoyed it. So I'm going through the arcade briefly here before I go after another machine to try to win a pillow, which, which, this one was actually a bit more difficult, and, are we there yet, are we there, are we there yet, okay, here we are, alright, now my goal is to try to get the Ram and Ram pillow from, uh, ReZero. Now, as you can see, this one's a bit different from the last arcade because the, uh, the bars are actually metal this time. They're not, like, plastic or tied on by someone, I guess. So, as you can see, um, there's two bars in front and three in the back. Um, there's one bar in the front that's higher than the second one that's lower, so it's kind of more annoying this time, this time around. But, um, I tried to implement the same strategy, but with the three bars in the back, um, I just gotta be careful not to, um, make the claw hit the bar, otherwise, that's not really gonna work. 
and yeah, as you can see, the second bar on the the bottom or the lowest one is starting to cause a bit of a problem now because um it's it's uh, positioned like that, and I think I hit the bar that time, so I didn't get to make as many pro as much uh, progress. But um yeah, so. Soon enough, though, we're gonna, uh, you're gonna see all of my tries as well as fails while trying to retrieve this pillow. And uh, yeah, but I'll admit the one at the other arcade, the I don't know what it's called, but it has like the red. It's it's always it's colored red. And it has some like uh, character that's colored white, some pixelated character color colored white uh, as its logo. So um, that arcade that might be a bit easier, but over here in the Sega one, they they all have these metal bars though. It's kind of a bit more um, it's a bit more tough to try to get the prizes out. But the one at the other arcade is easier because it doesn't have those um, metal bars. Because it, it was like, it kind of bounced a lot when I was trying to get the prize, or the pillow, the love life pillow. And here it's not doing it that much. And yeah, well, that's the, that's the grab that I thought I did the most progress on, but I just ended up putting it on the higher bar again, on the front, in the front. Now I struggle a bit more trying to get it. But yeah, uh, same for this though. Um, I didn't. I was. I. I was unable to um, record myself winning it because I just wanted to concentrate without the camera. So uh, yeah. But also, um, regarding, uh, tries, um, 500 yen was for 6 tries, I believe, and one 100 yen coin was just for one try, so, yeah. Try to pick the amount of, uh, coins when you convert your yen, and try to get the most out of your tries so you can have a better shot at getting a prize. But soon enough here, I cut to where I have the pillow. And there we are. I retrieved the Rem and Ram pillow after a good amount of tries. And, uh, yeah. That is pretty much going to be it for the uh, the Japan blog series for 2017. Um, yeah, like I said before, um, I really do hope that I can go back to Japan in the next couple years. Because, I don't know, I felt like I was right at home with the country. I don't know. But, um, yeah. But only time will tell, honestly. But um, other than that, I hope you guys really enjoyed these videos. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. It helps me out tremendously, and I will see you guys again soon in the next one. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, goodbye.